Workers at the Blind Welfare Association on Thursday protested, calling for better conditions at their workplace in South Trinidad. Executive members of the Old Trinidad General Workers Trade Union stood with them. Mary Therese Bernard has more. Impaired workers at the Blind Welfare Association say that their health and safety are being compromised due to unsafe conditions in their work building. First Vice President of the All Trinidad Journal Workers Trade Union, John Jaglau, said issues are resurfacing that they thought had been dealt with in 2016. There are electrical issues, there are toilet facilities that um, there's one toilet both male and female has to use. The, the windows are, cannot be open because if there is a fire or there is the air condition not working, there is no air coming through those windows that need to be open. The keys for the gate cannot be found up to this point in time. Branch President Walson Cruikshank made a plea for the authorities to ensure that OSHA standards are adhered to for their well-being. With regards to the incidents here, um, nothing has been given to the, the, the association and no reassurance to the workers that the building is safe to, um, to work. And under OSHA, a, a building supposed to be and, and workers supposed to feel safe and the environment is supposed to be safe for workers. The General Secretary, Rajendra Mohan, is calling for the Ministry of Social Development to step in, saying that this is not the first time that an incident regarding electrical problems has occurred. That was in 2016 when the initial problem occurred. We were given the assurance that it would not occur, reoccur. Lo and behold, earlier this week, there was an issue in terms of the electrical installation and the integrity of same. This creates a hazard to the visually impaired. We are also informed that upon the, the, the fire alarm being triggered, there were no one to escort the visually impaired out of the building. Pamela Sukdio makes it clear that she's not willing to die due to negligence as she insists that management do their job. I am not going to jeopardize my life, right? Because of management, stupidity, right? I am not. And they are playing with our life. We are blind people, right? If a fire takes place, all the sighted will run and leave us, you know. And, and we have to fend for ourselves and the blind help the blind, you know. CEO of the Blind Welfare Association, Kenneth Surat, said he was aware of the protest, but insisted that all measures had been taken to ensure employee safety on the job. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.